Hi everyone, it's been about a month since I've wet a line and I'm down here with my brother at West Bay Harbour. We're going to do a bit of LRF. Right, Charlie, do you want to go for the visual buzz? Like we watched the little park come up or do you just want to fish blind? Yeah, I'm in your hands, mate. I've never done it before. <laughs> what, here? LRF well, full stop. There you have. Have you? Nope. First no. chuck, I snagged up and uh, lost my whole lot. So to start off with, I'm going to fish a little fox curly shad on a dropper. And on the bottom, I've got an FFS floating finesse stick, a little mini micro, and that's set about two foot deeper. Oh, he's come off. No, he hasn't. No, no way. He come off. Like the poaching weasel that he is, my brother was straight in there. I've dropped two, and Will's caught the first one. What is it? Well done. Much better than a 10 pound bass. That is awesome. There he goes. How's he? Let's catch <laughs> on for sure. Uh, uh, like a little waggle tail, I guess. Fox, fox might have lured. Lured. It's just not fair. Two hookups, two lost fish, and Will's got one. Yeah. <laughs> Only because Will won't believe me otherwise. There you go, finally got one before we go home. Little Pollock. <laughs> I could get addicted to this. Back in the water. Did you land it? Did you fall off? Yeah. Photographic evidence. Well I knew you wouldn't believe me otherwise. I can see why it's so addictive. It's, 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 it is properly addictive, isn't it? I, I think you're, you're too quick to knock those um, isomy worms. Yeah, but they're they're scented, aren't they? So they're they're bait, effectively, aren't they? Mm. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, that was a take. Oh, and again. <laughs> Personally, it takes me back to my childhood. It's like it's like, it's like rock pulling, but with a rod. <laughs> <laughs> it is like that, yeah. Oh. F a good take. Sorry, yeah, close, close to the boat. It's well addictive. I'll tell you what it is, it just engages the mind constantly, doesn't it? It does. It's like it's Big time. fly fishing or float fishing. Every single jig I'm seeing a flash underneath. Oh, yeah. So I'm obviously doing it all wrong. Uh, they're not nailing anything that big at all. No, no. What, is, just, what about half the size of it? Yeah, half the size of that. It's flashing in circles. Put, put the big one on the top dropper just to sort of splash, sort of splashes around. Yes, yeah, splash around. I'll try it. I'll put that big one on the top to make the surface splash, and I bet it makes a difference. Indeed, indeed. They do like a bit of commotion, it would seem. But out of about fifty hits, I only had about four fish in total, all of similar size, and uh, three on the bottom bait, one on that little perch pattern. The thing I loved about it most was just how engaging it was. There was no going through the motions, it was just constant action, uh, great fun, exciting to watch the fish uh, coming up and hitting it. In hindsight, a smaller hook pattern would have helped. Um, and I'm looking forward to giving it another go. Thanks for watching.